We're going to start the uh, Selectman's meeting for Wednesday, June 21st. And before we um, start, I'd just like to um, uh, congratulate Michael Jukonski on his reelection. And I'd like to welcome Sean Kerrigan to the board. You both ran great campaigns, and, and welcome Thank you. Uh, to the board. Sean, look forward to serving with you. I'm excited to be here. Excellent. Thank you. Um, and before we do the uh, reorganization of the board, too, I'd just like to thank um, this current board um, and uh, former selectman uh, James LeBlanc for their support in my uh, chairmanship. And for the, uh, you know, it's, been a, it's been a privilege to serve this board as your chair for the past year. So I'd like to thank the board, my fellow board members on that. Uh, with that being said, I'd like to uh, start this meeting with the reorganization of the board. Is there a uh, motion for a Mr. chair? Chairman, I'd like to nominate David Sargent for chairman. Is there a second? No second. No, 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 no. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It's unanimous. All right. I would like to thank my fellow board members for having trust. And Welcome aboard, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Selectman Conley. Welcome aboard, Mr. Thank Kerrigan. You. Congratulations. Congratulations, Michael. Next order of business tonight is to nominate a vice chairman. Is there any nominations for vice chairman? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'll, um, I'll, no I'll nominate uh, Bill Conley, Selectman Bill Conley for vice chair. Sure. Is there any, any other nominations? Being none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Congratulations, Bill. Um, next on the agenda tonight is to um, pick a clerk. Is there any nominations for a clerk? Mr. Chairman, I'll nominate uh, Sean Kerrigan for clerk. Sure. Is there any other nominations? Being none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Congratulations, Sean. Thank you. Next order of business tonight is public comment. Anybody here to speak for public comment? Being none, I'll move along. Um, next order of business is review of the minutes. The following minutes are available for review and approval for June 7, 2017, the Selectman's meeting, June 7, 2017, Executive Session Town Accountant Contract, and also um, June 7, 2017, the Executive Session Town Administrator Contract. What's the pleasure of the board? So moved, Mr. Chair. Second. Is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Thank you. Uh, next order of business is Matthew Copas from the Clinton Area uh, Little League. Uh, the president of the Clinton Area Little League would like to meet with the Board of Selectmen to discuss installing a street light at the Ash Street ball fields for security and clearing the embankments around the sur uh, surrounding the fields which have become overgrown. Welcome, Matt. Thank you very much. If you'd like to discuss what absolutely what's going on down there so um, with how overgrown that area has become uh, there was recently there were was uh, there were several uncapped used syringes that were found in the area of the playground behind uh, the snack shack and in speaking with uh, lieutenant coin who's also involved with little league we had cleared a little bit of the brush uh, beneath the Oxford parking lot. And he was saying how easy it is now for them to patrol that area because there's an opening there. And with the amount of debris that's being dumped uh, behind Oxford Court all the way down to Lincoln Plaza, uh, we thought it would be a great idea to hopefully clear some of that land out so that would make it even more accessible and, and ultimately keeping it safe for all the, uh, all the participants in our league as well as the school department. What we're running into is because it's uh, school department land, the Parks and Rec, I believe, is who's been maintaining the, the fields, and we're just hoping that we can get everybody together to either, you know, we have volunteers that are willing, but just hoping to get the departments together to maybe take on that task so we can clear out that area and, and make it more safe. I, I think it's a great idea, and I also <clears throat> um, have heard from um, several parents from the town of Clinton where they've found needles and syringes down at the Ashfield parking lot, which is very disturbing, Matt. Very, yeah. um, now, I think it's a great idea to um, put some street lights and do some clearing down there. Have you have you spoken to the superintendent? I have, and they made the request to ask the board of selectmen uh, 
uh, to approve uh, a couple of safety lights down there. Sure. Um, we do have a new school superintendent coming in. We also have a new facility manager coming in. So hopefully um, they can work with the town administrator to get the street lights up. Does the board members have any comments or questions? Um, I, no, I think it's a, just to echo your sentiments, I think it's a good idea. Um, clean up the area, get some street light down there, illuminate it. Um, so I think it's a really good idea and I commend uh, the Little League and, and all the other departments for helping out. So anything, I mean, it's not speaking of the board, anything I mean uh, that I can do, obviously, and hopefully this board would, would back me on it that, uh, you know, we'd be able to assist in some way. Sure. Any other comments? Um, well, just a question. Sure. Would the light, if we approve it, have to wait for the facilities director? I mean, we'd be able to put that up right away. And correct me if I'm wrong, you're asking us to agree to have the three board uh, representatives from the three entities get together, Parks and Rec, school committee, and us to talk about doing the brush clearing. Is it brush or is it trees? It's brush and trees. Mm -hmm. um, in whatever capacity any town department would be able to extend their services, we would appreciate it. I mean, we have volunteers that are willing to come down, but we just don't have the equipment to do it. So the thought would be if we knock some of them trees down, we then could use a, uh, a chipper and just chip them right back in, onto the embankment. And then, uh, you know, that would kind of clean it up a bit. Um, so whatever, you know, whatever, this is basically just trying to start the, the talks to uh -huh. see if there's anything that the town is willing or able to do to help with the endeavor. Okay. I did drive down there, Matt, and e even the park lot at the elementary school. It's an awful condition. Um, big craters down there. That, yes. You know, driving my truck over them, you know, those need to be fixed also. Second comment? Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, first of all, I support whatever you want to do down there. Um, as far as getting permission from this board I mean I'm perfectly I'm sure the rest of the board would be happy to give you permission but we don't have oversight over Correct. that facility it's under the control of the school department and even without digging up old wars th there was some right. issue between Prax and Prax and Rec was going to maintain it but there were issues of hours and <coughs> couldn't do it during work hours because it disturbed the schools and that type of thing so the real oversight or real permission has to come from the school committee. Okay. Right. And not so much the superintendent as the school committee itself. Okay. Um, That's good to know. But you, you have my full support in doing anything you want to do down there. And see, even if, if the DPW could make some help available for a one time. Sure. Yeah, I, I'm I sure. can look into to see what the town can do. Because right. I'm sure it would be a it would be a big job so it whether, would, yes. how, what the cost would be what type of equipment um, and i think that if the board is supportive of that we can lend whatever support we can and is it something that can be done with current resources or do we need to do a, a town meeting article like we did for worcester street you know those type of things and yeah. be willing to research some of those issues uh, for the board too. i mean ideally we're, we're looking to, to keep the cost as low as possible obviously so we can get it done more quickly but it, realistically, we we're looking at, you know, a couple guys have chainsaws and, and really it's the chipper outside of that. I mean, you know, we have access to a chipper, which I know uh, Mr. Arsenal down at Arsenal's rental has one. <coughs> um, but, you know, it would be a big endeavor for a few people from the Little League to take on. So, any, you know, that's where we figured anything. So, Mr. Chair, is, is it just that embankment on the, on the outfield side or is it the railroad side too? We would just do the uh, the right side, so all the way from Oxford Court, starting at the playground, uh, all the way down to the back of the post office, right around the corner of Field Two, um, and just between the vandalism that takes place back there, um, every fall, you know, we're we're cleaning it, and then every spring we're cleaning it again. Uh, yeah. There's broken bottles that are being smashed there, um, so yeah, I know we've had problems there in the past with the police and different activity going on there. Um, but it, and it does become overgrown into the fields, which restricts you know passage when there's game going on. So it's something certainly to be looked at. But it is a big job, I and mean, that's a that's big, right. That's a big area. That's why we figured if we just start chipping away at it. But even you know a a, a, friend, a a great benefit of it is any grandparents that come down to watch the games that are unable to access through Ash Street. They they've been pulling up and just watching it from Oxford's uh, Oxford's parking lot, and now with the scoreboard we. 
uh, had donated from Clinton Savings Bank. They're able to basically be engaged in the game from sure. a distance. So. So we do have a, a new facility department director is going to be hired within the month, I believe. And then we got the new superintendent coming on board. So maybe they can work with Michael and we'll get the job okay. done. And, and All right. Mr. Chair, yeah. I just have one more question for Mike and, and town solicitor maybe answer the question. Is that anyone for like, we have a general liability uh, coverage for the town of Clinton, like I <laughs> mentioned volunteers and chippers that just get nervous. Someone gets hurt. Are we covered through our insurance with something like that where there's volunteers and not that are doing work down there? We, we do have coverage for volunteers working on behalf of the town and authorized on behalf of the okay. town. Uh, at to what level, to what extent, you know, if they're there providing uh, volunteer for coaching or recreation or if they're volunteering to operate equipment. Right. You know, we would look at that distinction, but, yeah. but we do have coverage for people that are assisting a volunteering right. I just get nervous when I hear about chainsaws and chippers and yeah, people down there and just kind of. We I mean, do if have a, experienced if a people on the DPW that knows how to right. Right. Yeah, down right. trees. And, and if chippers. a waiver would be needed, I, that wouldn't be an issue for us to sign if that was the case. Uh, th thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Ask. Chairman, I'd make a motion that the board support uh, in any way it can through any department it's uh, responsible for uh, supporting the endeavor to clean up the ball field area down there. Sure. Is there a second? Second. second. Is there <coughs> any further discussion? And I would just have a question. Will we be able to approve the, the street lights through National Grid? Would that be done today as a possibility or would that be something that would come later down the road? Well, I think if that's something the board can discuss, if they go okay. to add a light because again, we you know, there was a study done a number of years ago, so generally, you know, there's a reason or purpose for adding lights. Yeah. So as determined by the Board of Selectmen. So if the board supports that today, then I can contact our National Grid rep tomorrow. Yep. Now, whether that's going to be a street light, Cobra Head, uh, or uh, a regular street light, or is it going to be a flood light? I mean, Mr. McGowan had mentioned something about a, a safety light of some sort where it would just illuminate the area. He said it would something around the neighborhood of 400 watts, so I don't know what that's classified as, but that was, yeah. if that helps, but. Okay. And they, they, we could also have their National Grid engineers come down too to see, because there are some residential uh, properties there too to make sure it's not that's impeding correct, right. the, uh, yeah. uh, the use of the residential property, but. It probably would be more of a uh, floodlight, you know, a directed flood floodlight. Um, but if the board approves it and leaves it open to uh, whatever the recommendation of National Grid, then we can get started on that tomorrow. Mr. Okay. Chairman, that was the intent of my motion that okay. We, okay. we support any effort on that, on including the, on we the approve the light, including okay. approving the light Super. as best as determined, whatever the best one uh, is determined to be for that application. Great. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion Thank carries. you very much. Thank you for Bye. your service, Matt. Next order of business is administrative business uh, for late night closings. <clears throat> the following establishments are requesting late night closing for Saturday in the month of July 2017. Turner Hall, Crystal Club Cafe, Liberty Tavern, <coughs> Greenside Cafe, Spruce Street Tavern, Simple Man Saloon, and the Polish American Club. What's the pleasure of the board? So moved, Mr. Chairman. Second. Is there any discussion? Just under discussion, Mr. Chairman, adding the catch-all phrase that any late applicants yep. would be approved by the police chief. Sure. Any other discussion? Being none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Next order of business is old and new business is the bond bid award. The town treasurer will have a recommendation for the bid award to a bank that will permanently finance the bonds for bar barn projects from the recent town meeting. Michael just stepped out. Um, there he is. He's back in. Mike, the bonds, Michael. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. We're talking about the bid um, bond bid award. Yes, uh, Mr. Chair. Just wanted. We have the package here. Um, the the Borrowing needs to be authorized by the Board of Selectmen, and the Board has to sign the actual bonds themselves, which have been submitted by the uh, lending institution here. And what it is for, it's a $3,650,000 general obligation purpose loan uh, for several projects. It's a 4% interest of the bid that was received. 
and it covers several projects from the last couple of town meetings, uh, such as some of the landfill closure uh, issues, the senior center remodeling, uh, the fire engine, uh, two, two fire engines, uh, work at the middle school, remodeling and asbestos work, uh, the Savage Field uh, debt exclusion that was, uh, that was voted uh, recently, uh, the uh, money for Franklin Street borrowing. So over the last two, uh, I would double check maybe three town meetings, but all that we were doing temporary borrowing until the work was done. Uh, so we were doing bans, bond anticipation notes uh, while the work was being done. Now the work, most of the work has been completed or we know all the money will be used because generally we don't bond. Uh, if, they, if the bid comes in less than what was authorized, sure. we don't borrow that. So now that either the work has been done and we know the money was used, or like the Savage Field, uh, we know all of that's going to be spent. Now the treasurer has recommended that we do a permanent financing to start paying down that debt now uh, going forward. So those that will get us up to date uh, until this, uh, whatever was, uh, was authorized at this town meeting here. So we'll bring this up to date, get everything onto the books on the debt schedule. And over the next couple of years, we do have some major projects that will be paid off as well, too, during that time. Okay, thank you. Do the board members have any questions? No. Being none, what's the pleasure of the board? Motion to approve the bond bid award. Second. Any further discussion? Being none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank, thank you. you. Just, Mr. Chair, I think there was another page here. There was also work done to the track. The uh, fire department radios, the sidewalks for Water Street, uh, and the recycle con tipping containers for the recycle program, and a grant match for the uh, exhaust system and breathing apparatus that the fire department had gotten. So, so there is quite a bit of uh, authorizations, uh, projects that have been completed or nearing completion uh, that will, cover, will be covered with this uh, bond. Okay, thank you, Michael. Next order of business tonight is a police summer block dances. The Clinton Police Relief Association is requesting permission to block off Union Street between Chestnut Street and Walnut Street from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. to conduct their annual youth summer block dances on Thursday night from July 6, 2017 to August 17, 2017. This is a great event that our Clinton Police Department puts on for our youths in the town of Clinton. And I would like to thank him. What's the pleasure of the board? Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we um, approve the police summer block dances with the dates mentioned. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, the next to order um, um, on the agenda tonight is the Kino license ones for Brothers Pizza, um, Brothers Beer and Wine, I'm sorry, and the other one is for uh, Kino license for Sam's Quick Stop. The Massachusetts Lottery, Lottery Commission has provided notice to the Board of Selectmen that Brothers Beer and Wine and Sam's Quick Stop has applied for a Kino to go license for their establishment. Um, Brothers Beer and Wine is located at 1044 Main Street, and Sam's Quick um, Stop is located on Sterling Street, 175 Sterling Street. Um, we do not need to make a motion on this unless the board members have any concerns about this. Do the board members have any concerns? Being none. Mr. Uh, <clears throat> Chairman, just under uh, all the new business, Yep. just a couple things under um, new business. The uh, business forum under the direction of the Community Economic Development Office met this morning over at the Russian Icon Museum. Nice. Um, we had our state representative there, Harold Naughton. We had the um, North Central uh, Chamber of Commerce was there as well. Um, and uh, many business owners and um, I know myself, I was there. Uh, Selectman Jukoinski and Selectman Kerrigan was there as well as um, Town Administrator uh, Michael Ward. We had our police chief there and our DPW superintendent as well. So it was well attended by the uh, municipal side. I hope I didn't leave anyone else. Oh, and our um, uh, superintendent of, public school, uh, of the schools. Um, he was there as well. Um, so we had that. Um, we had some good feedback, I thought, from the businesses and a good presentation from um, our, our speakers. Um, so very, um, I thought it was very positive. Um, there were some questions and concerns. Uh, it was a good forum, good debate, some good discussion. And I don't know if, I know Michael was there and, and Selectman um, 
Jukinski and Slickman Kerrigan on up they have anything they'd like to add on that or sure. Just to echo what you said, it was great to see everybody come out and to get that dialogue going, to hear from Mr. Duffy and um, people from the North Central Chamber. Um, it seems like there's some good things going on, and if we can do a better job of getting word out, I think we can keep that momentum going as far as redevelopment. Thank you for attending. Thank you, Mr. Does Chair. Does anybody else have any uh, new and old business? Just, uh, I have another, uh, another piece of new business here, Mr. Chairman. Um, I know it was um, at our last couple of meetings, we had uh, concerned citizens from the uh, uh, Greeley Hill area um, come out and express concerns about graffiti and, and um, noise and dust, that type of thing. Um, so I'd like to um, establish, I know there was talk about at our last meeting having a, um, a, a, a subcommittee um, composed of uh, members of the, of, the, of the town of Clinton, um, town employees, and then um, having someone from the neighborhood committee. So what I'd like to do, and this would be for, um, I'd probably call it like a beautification committee. It basically, um, in my genesis, the committee would just fe fe feature on the um, graffiti that is being on private and, and, and private property, whether it's residential, uh, commercial. I know other towns and cities are doing it. Um, they have certain things. And then who, who would enforce it? What would the violations be? That type of thing. So um, the committee I'd like to set up would compose of um, town solicitor, town administrator, uh, building inspector and or uh, someone from the police department, because I know the police have been pretty proactive on this, helping out um, a selectman member or two selectman members and a, uh, a neighborhood uh, member from that uh, neighborhood association or neighborhood group down on uh, Lawrence Street area from Greeley Hill. Sure. Um, so that would be my... Um, How about a business owner from down there? Because a lot yeah, of those that's fine too, absolutely. It wasn't their fault. No, um, that's but, absolutely. Like, we talked about the dust in the past and stuff. Yeah. Um, and, and that business owner got a letter from the DEP right. stating there was nothing that he was doing wrong. Right. Um, yes, the whoever's doing the spray painting is not the business owner, owner's fault. Right. Yes, they did repaint them. Yes, they did clean up all the, uh, the lawns down there and right. their lots down there. Right. Um, I just still want them to be thinking that we're targeting their businesses down there because they did. They're. Right. They're doing them wrong. Yeah, this would be so. just uh, the genesis, again, of the committee, from, from my opinion, anyways, would be more on the, um, com uh, the, the graffiti, the tagging that's going on on private property. I know the town, this board has been really proactive with uh, town-owned properties and cleaning up the graffiti and uh, all, all that's been going on. Um, this would be now going into um, private properties like um, I know other, for, for instance, the city of Worcester does it. They have, I believe they do 10 business days nice. and there's 11. They have someone that goes around the force and just letting them know the business owners. And, and Did you make a motion? Is this a motion? Uh, yeah, it'd be a motion. Just a just, just well, it's still in discussion. That that would be my um, to add on to the chairman having someone else too from the business community would serve on the committee as well. And I, to be honest with you, I don't think this committee would take long. I would say three or four uh, probably meetings. <laughs> some sort of solution, um, and, and see what we can well, do. Well, I'll it. second the motion for for purposes. So that'd be of my discussion. motion. Yeah. Um, there's been a motion and a second. Uh, any discussion? I, I just have, these are my thoughts on this. This seems to be a motion to deal with the issue of graffiti around the town. Yes. So why we would limit the citizens' participation or the business participation to the Lawrence Street area. Well, no, my I thing is having someone from that area, but I mean, other people are more welcome to join. If people want to come in, these meetings are open to the public. It's not, they're not closed sessions. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, well, more, but more if the you're going to have a subcommittee and right. people want to participate, they'd want to be on the subcommittee. Sure. Well, I'm not than opposed just to that. Come and listen. So uh, here's all I'm saying I think that there were two problems discussed. One was the problem with graffiti, which this motion seems to deal with. The other one, uh, dealt with alleged zoning violations and in my mind dealt with the level of service that the people received from the town. So I just don't want to slough off the level of service issue with the graffiti. I mean I think they're separate issues and I think right. the graffiti is a town-wide issue right. not just in the Lawrence Street area. Oh, I totally agree. So. I'm, I'm just not wanting, in my mind, I don't want to get the graffiti issue. I, I think we should be working to develop some sort of system so that people can lodge complaints with the town and there is a record of that complaint. Right. Sure. And like I don't say, want I that to two, get washed away. Right. I think those are two separate issues. Okay. Because to me, my opinion, and this is my opinion, um, that seemed to be more of a communication issue. Um, and I don't want to get into it. I know the, 
I mean, I don't think we can fault the building inspector. If it's I'm not saying it's a, No, I know you're not. I'm just I saying. I didn't say it. I didn't say it was there. anybody. So I think, I that, think that's more of a system communication. problem that right. has to be fixed. We haven't got to it yet, but during committee reports, I was going to ask the town um, administrator to come up with a breakdown of all the different subcommittees. So maybe at the next Lechman's meeting, we can discuss that. We can discuss all the okay. subcommittees. All right. Okay. If that's all right with Lechman Akabuchi. That's fine with me. I just wanted to bring it up for discussion that, uh, you know, things are not going on deaf ears up here, that we are listening and uh, we're, sure. we're taking part to it. So, sure. thank you, Mr. Chair. Yes. So, so, we've got a motion on the table. Do we want to? Is a motion and second on the table. Oh, can I withdraw? My, I'll just withdraw my motion. Can we do that? Table the motion, maybe? Table it. Or do you want to approve the committee and then just have it on the list to be sure. discussed yeah. at the next meeting? Yeah. Yeah. Whichever, yeah. It's fine with me. Sure. This has been uh, Go ahead. So I've been in the discussion, Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Um, well, I understand the gap between uh, Selectman Jaklinski's view of what needs to be done and what this proposed subcommittee would be, the direction it would be working in. I think it's a great idea. Uh, I think that the, you initiated the discussion with the uh, concept of a town beautification committee, mm -hmm. and whether that's graffiti or landscaping or trying to improve the overall appearance of properties in town. I think it's a, a, a great uh, idea and it's a subcommittee we should have. That doesn't, I'm not, and I support it, I, but that doesn't, I'm not dismissing Selectman Jaklinski's desire to set up something to document complaints. Um, and that should, I think, should be a separate issue. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, I just didn't want it to get lost where he was right. tying it to Lawrence Street. I, I, I do want to say that documenting, uh, writing complaints and, and disposition of complaints doesn't mean that uh, everyone that has a complaint deserves uh, uh, a response other than no, it is not a violation. Not, not every complaint is justified. Oh, not that's every right. Complaint I agree has a bit has has a, a, a basis that the town can act on. I, I agree. And I don't want to set the 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 concept in motion that if you complain, you're right. And uh, so when we address that issue, I want to be careful how we address it. Mm -hmm. Is there any other discussion, Mr. Chairman? Yes, just sir. and I'm, I'm new, so I'm figuring this stuff out. But yeah, and I agree with with what everything's said. Um, just coming from listening to people for the last couple of months, I agree that not every complaint might necessarily be valid. But I think it's important that we let them know why it's not valid whenever possible, just so yeah. they know it's not falling into fears and say we have bylaws in place. For and this, what this their appeal right. process, is, right? If any, right. Yeah. Thank you. Any other discussion? Be none. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Any, uh, any other old and new business? No. Um, just under old and new business, Mr. Chairman. Um, at town meeting, the last couple of years, uh, the questions come up. And um, I know Mr. Martin has blogged about it in the past. And it's the issue of our, uh, our uh, post-retirement trust fund liability. And I, I believe not necessarily at the next meeting, but um, soon we should have a, a, a get an outline from the town administrator of of where we are with that, what that liability is, and what kind of options there are. Because I think the community deserves a public discussion of um, how serious a, a problem it is and how serious the methods of addressing it would be. <coughs> uh, so I'd like to get that out, out in, a, in a discussion by this board, not necessarily for us to resolve it, because I don't think we can. But when we were asked at town meeting if $100,000 was enough, it really isn't. It's a drop in the bucket. And, and to fix the problem is going to require some serious, at least, review by uh, the town as to whether or not they really want to do what needs to be done to fix it. Sure. Mike, you'll get that for us? Sure. I can certainly put together an analysis for the board and uh, at least pre present the scenario with all the numbers and the, and the information uh, and start a discussion on it. So 
Uh, I mean, I do want to say I think the board has, I, I think, taken big steps in, by creating the fund, by, by making the commitment to fund it every year, because a lot of towns are not able to do that. And it, does, and it doesn't go unnoticed when we have our bond rating hearing. So it certainly is important. Uh, and, and, you know, the discussion, you're, you're right, on long term and, and, and how that's uh, going to be funded and what we need to do to ramp it up or when we need to ramp it up. And, and I understand that. But I think also uh, by educating people to know that it's necessary. Uh, so even if, it's, if, if we're just putting a little bit in, the, the bond uh, raters see that as the awareness of the issue and the commitment of the town to address it and not sweep it under the rug. Definitely so we, a positive. A couple of weeks ago, we had a rating call, and that was discussed during that, that's it, during that uh, meeting. And we can say what we're doing. And, and, and again, that, that makes a positive impact on how, how we are able to go to the bond markets to borrow money. So, um, so I think it's good to uh, get out there, uh, let people know, uh, and I'll get to the information. Thank you, Michael. <coughs> Thank you, Bill. Next order of business tonight um, is gold and object objectives. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. The Board of Selectmen usually discuss established new goals and objectives for each fiscal year. The discussions um, for the members is to set their expectations for the 2018. will be scheduled for the next Selectmen's meeting in July. Um, do we want to go through each one? Yes. You want to go through each one, of course? You asked and answered your own question. Yes, I did. Um, so for the first one is the property on Chestnut Street, 239 Chestnut Street. Would the committee members would like to keep that on there? Well, I thought we were going to discuss this. Oh, you want to discuss it in week. July? Okay. But I, and then I thought you were going to go through them. I was going to go through these tonight, and we can add any more. Oh. Or do you want to just or, do it in July? Or, Mr. Or I think if, if the chairman wanted to highlight what the current Yes. issues are and then to be thinking about whether or not those will stay or go plus any others at the right. next meeting. Sure. So right. at, least that's the, fine. at least to let the public know what you have on the list right now sure. and then we can finalize all those at the next meeting. So the first so, one yes. we had on the list was the property uh, 239 Chester Street, I believe the old Legion property. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the second one was developing the new facility department, which we're almost there. And um, the operations of the finance departments, which we're merging, right? The tax collector and the treasurer, the sidewalk survey and repair estimates for the sidewalks, which is mine, the support of Old Home Day and the fireworks and the Holiday Pops concert, um, the maintenance plan for Duffy Park, and the downtown decorative streetlight projects, and also Oxford Court improvements and the surplus for town property. And if board members have any, any other ones they, they would like to add in the July meeting, that'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. Next order of business tonight is committee reports. Does board members have any committee reports? Mike, if you can give me a breakdown of all the subcommittees. So we don't select the little blanks not here. And we got a new, um, new selectmen, so we can sure. add them on some of the sub subcommittees. Yes. We gotta put them to work <laughs> here. Yes. Sure. So I'll make a, a list of the current committees, the current membership of those committees, and then the board can discuss how to fill the board members and whether or not to expand or, 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 or reorganize uh, the current uh, membership on those committees. Sure. Good. And then um, I believe we have um, over 45 applicants for the facility director's position, and I believe Michael would like to start on that process. So we'd like to get a subcommittee to start over uh, looking at all the applicants. Um, does any members want to be on the subcommittee? I have no problems being on, being on the subcommittee. Selectman Jankowski was on it from day one, such as Selectman Conley. All right, we were, we were on the government, uh, uh, government, what are we calling it? <laughs> government Affairs Committee. Government Affairs Committee. Um, so I've been somewhat familiar with the project, although I think from a construction sort of maintenance operation standpoint, I'm, I'm not the strongest. But I would be willing to serve on the subcommittee if asked. 
Uh, Mr. Chairman, I, I too have played a part since the inception of this plan, um, and I, I will continue to participate in the, in the development through the, that subcommittee of, of the department. But as to hiring the specific person, I think I'd like to take, take an opportunity to step back and give other people an opportunity to participate. I have no problems sitting on the subcommittee if you gentlemen would like me to with Selectman Jakonski. Someone like to make a motion? I'll make a motion to Second. nominate the chair and uh, Selectman Jakonski to the. Actually, this, this wouldn't be a subcommittee of our board. This would be your and the superintendent's committee. Right. 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 It would be a screening committee for so the uh, town administrator and superintendent of schools. We just wanted to have consensus as to who the representative of the board would be. Um, our hope would be to have people from the uh, selectmen, the school committee, the permanent building committee, uh, the personnel board chair has uh, offered uh, uh, her uh, volunteerism to, to, to help review them. I think it's going to be a, a, a big undertaking for whoever this person is, so we really want to have buy-in from a lot of the constituencies and see that everyone has a chance to review these candidates, like the school committee did with the superintendent, new superintendent schools, that um, there's going to be a lot of departments that they're, they're involved in, and we want to make sure we have the right person, that everyone kind of agrees on who can be successful in this position. So, so we would like to have kind of that cross-section but we wanted the board to be able to make their own recommendations. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that uh, the board's representatives on that subcommittee be uh, selected sergeant and selected to point speed. I'll second. There's a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Being none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Is there any other committee reports? Uh, um, being none, um, we are going to, it's going to be, we're going to be in the summer session. So we are going to be meeting once in July and once in August. Um, do we want to come up with dates tonight? Or do we want to give the dates to Michael? I don't know what your plans are for your vacations. Are you, are you going away on vacation this summer? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, but you don't, want to, you don't want to tell people on television. I just say that. So maybe um, we'll come, we'll tell Mike our availabilities and we'll post the meetings online. When the time and date. Uh, Sounds good. I would suggest that we have to keep it loose because there might be end of the year issues that have to be resolved. By July 1, yeah, I know. That maybe next week I think we'll have to meet. But sure. Does the board members have anything else tonight? Being none, I'll accept the motion to adjourn. So moved, Mr. Move. Chair. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Have a good night and have a great weekend. That was pretty good, Mr. Chairman.